Well, uh, you know, if you've got pets, you know they get into stuff. They either eat the wrong thing, or they, it upsets their tummy, or they balloons. Step in a cactus yeah. like mine have done, or get bit by a rattlesnake, which mine mm -hmm. have done. Mm -hmm. You kind of need to know a little bit about pet first aid, Renee. Heck yeah, and it is Pet Aid Awareness Month in April. Yeah, they have a whole month for it, and we've got some of these dogs that we want to keep safe as well as yours. We are live in Old Town at Dr. Boyd's pet resort. He does everything. It's a full service clinic here and a fun doggy daycare. And things that these guys are learning are going to help them not get into trouble. But Dr. Ford, we want to talk first off about things in and out of the home that you just want to keep your pets away from. Yeah, absolutely. Let's start with outside the home. This time of year, everyone's gardening and getting outside. Things like, like snail and, and, and slug remover killer and this decon stuff they, for, for rats, gopher mix. Horrible, horrible things. Don't mix at all with our dogs and cats. This stuff you'll be incredibly careful with. And what I want to bring attention to is that when, when your dogs eat this, this sort of rat bait, it might be weeks before they show oh. sickness and, and, and it's fatal. So be incredibly careful with this stuff. Now, I know chocolate, of course. We've been trained to know that's not yeah. good for dogs. Coffee, I had no idea. Yeah, and it's the caffeine and the coffee is the same sort of chemical that's the problem in chocolate. And so the darker the chocolate, the more severe the toxin load is in. So you, the lighter chocolates are actually better for dogs. Okay, and why raisins? Turns out raisins are bad. Raisins and grapes. Believe it or not, grapes. You throw a few grapes as treats. It turns out some dogs in, in particular can have just a few grapes and go into severe kidney problems. Oh, no. And yeah, gum. Yeah. That is not something this you want to This is a new one. It, well, this is a new one. It's, it's, it's sugar-free gum. It has a particular chemical in it which is incredibly toxic. So it, we didn't know that before. It's, a, it's been a sort of a recent finding. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah. Well, good information. Yeah. And, of course, so garlic and onions. Another one. You don't think no, no, of. No, 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 no. Yeah, you just don't think of that. Keep it away. Keep it away. I want to talk to Trevor this morning. Trevor, you're the general manager and head trainer. Here, what are some behavior techniques that we can train our dog to make sure that they're falling in line and not getting hurt? I think the biggest thing is to be consistent um, between wife, husband, spouse, partner, kids, um, everything. Everyone needs to be on the same page. If someone's not, uh, the training kind of falls through the cracks. So, biggest thing be consistent. Um, if you're telling a dog no in the kitchen, everybody needs to tell the dog no in the kitchen so the dog uh, really understands to not go into the kitchen. All right, so we've got Kayla over here yep. working with these guys, and we have also different trainers. What are some specific behaviors that can be really helpful to make sure that our dog is doing what we need him or her to do? I think the really specifically is um, stay command or, uh, or no, you know, really having a true understanding of the word no, um, and so that you can tell your dog from a distance no, they'll immediately respond, whatever it is, you know, off the couch getting into a cabinet before um, they get the chocolate before they get there you know <laughs> so as soon as you know you, they get to a certain point if it was a boundary you can tell them no um, and then stay is another important so just having good controls of your dogs um, you notice a bunch of these dogs are down staying um, that's one of the foundations or fundamentals of training and getting to an off leash command wonderful all right Trevor thank you so much and again Dr. Boyd we appreciate it it is Pet First Aid Awareness Month, and we've got more tips coming up for your pet and uh, a free seminar that's going on next Wednesday. We'll give you all the information so you can keep your furry family member protected. Mark and Linda. Okay. Thanks, Renee. You bet.